in this video, I'm going to show you how to lock objects from moving. So let's say that I want to use this to-do list as an insert. And this is just an image that I've placed over this side of the daily page. So you can tap on the select icon and then tap on the object and then tap on the three dots next to the object. And then here you have a padlock icon that says lock object if you hover over it. So just tap on this and now this is locked. And the reason why you might want to lock objects is because maybe you want to move other things around it or on top of it without accidentally moving the locked object. To unlock an object, you can tap on the select icon, tap on the object, and you can see this outline come up and this padlock icon. And if you hover over it, it says unlock object. So then tap on this and now you can move it again. Locked objects can't be moved and they can't be deleted, which is why this delete icon is grayed out. So if you're having trouble deleting an object, check if you've accidentally locked it. You can also group objects together before locking them. So here I've dated my days of January and you can tap on the select icon and then select everything on the page and then tap on this three dots icon and then tap on the group icon. Now everything is grouped and then you can tap on the lock icon because if you lock a whole group of objects before grouping it, so let's say I lock these, it makes it harder to unlock them. So here, if I want to unlock these objects, I now have to tap on each item to unlock it. If you find yourself in this situation and you want to unlock a lot of individual objects that are locked, there is something you can do. So you can come to this select icon and then come over here to the selections list. And here you can choose what the selection tool is able to pick up. So then come down here and then check locked. And this means the select tool can pick up locked objects. So now you can select all of those items and then unlock it in one go.